Hi, this is Intiaz again and this time with a short video and we will be discussing how to use timers in C2000 microcontroller. So the basic idea is that we would like to run two different tasks at uh, different sample rates in one simulating program. One will be running at 50 Hz while the other one will be running at 13 Hz. And for this task we will be using the EPWM timer. So this is timer 1 and this is timer 2. Now let's see the timer 1. And you see this runs at 50 Hz while the timer 2 runs at 13 Hz. And now we look into the EPWM block. And here inside the PWM block, this is the field where we enter the TBPRD value in terms of clock cycles. This basically defines the time period of the timer. And then we select the EPWM4 among the list of all the PWM available. Then we go to this step to see what will happen when the timer reaches to a set time period value. And we want an interrupt to be posted. We also use this pre-scaler divider to divide the main clock with 32. And for how to calculate the TBPRD value, you can go to the help page. Here in this section, in the help page, it is mentioned how to calculate this value. And now we go back to the main simulating program. Here this block is the hardware interrupt block. And inside the hardware interrupt block, we enter the PIE and CPU numbers for the respective interrupts. And to find these numbers, you can go to the help page again where you can find the PIE and CPU numbers for EPWM4 and EPWM5. So the first interrupt which occurs at 50 Hz is going to this block while the second one goes to this block. Now we have some extra things here in these block as well and these are not related to the concept of how to use EPWM timer. These are some sensor reading which are Ill irrelevant to the, the timer. That, that is basically our goal. So the goal is I want what is inside this block is to be executed at 13 Hz. And for debugging purpose I have included this extra GPIO output that I will read on oscilloscope to confirm if it really runs with the required frequency or not. Similarly, in this block, I want the data to be transmitted serially at 50 Hz and then I do the same thing. I include a GPIO output as well for debugging purpose. And now we will upload the program to the MCU and we'll see the execution frequency on oscilloscope. Now you see this is the launch Excel in which the program is embedded and the black and white wires that you see is are basically ground and signal wires. So the signal wire is uh, currently connected to the GPIO which is toggling at 50 Hz and the other wires that you see are basically some sensors wires so these are irrelevant and if we uh, go to the oscilloscope and see here you see the toggling occurs at 50 Hz and that is mentioned here in the bottom of the screen and now if I switch the signal wire from the GPIO which is running at 50 Hz to the GPIO which is running at 13 Hz and again we uh, point the camera to the oscilloscope you will see the signal is toggling at a rate of 13 hertz so that's it for this video and in this video basically we discussed how we can use EPWM as a timer and I hope I will see you in the next video.